Hello, my name is Rachel and welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be talking to you about Bailey Gifford Positive Change. So this fund is potentially quite high risk, but could offer some really high return. It's also got that positive change element. So the companies that this fund is invested in are gonna be making a positive impact on the world around you. So if that's important to you and this fund sounds interesting, then please keep watching. First of all, I wanted to cover off the returns that this fund has had since its inception back in January, 2017. So it's had some really, really strong returns. So since inception, its per annum return is 32.6% compared to an index return of 11.4%. Um, so really, really strong returns there. So as I said, this fund is considered to be on the riskier side of things. So it is at a risk level of six on the scale. And that scale runs all the way down from one being the least risky all the way up to seven being the most risky, so right up at that top end of risk. However, the higher the level of risk, hopefully the higher returns you should expect to see over time. Now, when you look at the target market for this fund, when you have a look at the fact sheet, it is saying that if you are worried about volatility in the market and are looking for short-term gains, then potentially this fund isn't for you. This is for a long-term investor who's looking to invest for around five years or more, obviously, and um, so not short-term investments. Now, I am sharing this fund with you today because I am invested in this fund. Um, I think it's really important to say that. Um, and also, I think it's important to say that because I wanna be talking about things that I'm invested in and that I have experienced being invested in as a beginner investor. So I have, over the years invested 8,000 or just over 8,000 pounds in Bailey Gifford Positive Change. Um, I had to withdraw some of that money for renovations to our house and then put some back in again. Um, so at the moment we have around about 4,000 pounds in my personal ISA and then my husband has around about 4,000 pounds in his ISA and that is specifically invested in Bailey Gifford Positive Change. So I invest in a lot of different Bailey Gifford funds. And um, for example, I have quite a lot of money invested in Bailey Gifford American Bee Accumulation Fund as well. But I wanted to talk to you today about Bailey Gifford to Positive Change because it is that positive change element that I think might be interesting to a lot of people and the impact that this fund aims to make on the world around. So this is an actively managed fund. So obviously there are fund managers doing their research and investing um, in different companies. So they have a portfolio of around 25 to 50 high quality growth companies in this fund. Um, and as I said, they focus on positive change and making a positive impact on the world. And they do that in four key areas, which I'm gonna list for you now. So the current four key themes that they have are social inclusion and education, environment and resource needs, healthcare and quality of life. And then finally, the base of the pyramid, which it then has in brackets, which is addressing the needs of the world's poorest populations. And um, so obviously very, very important. And it's interesting to see that you can make money investing in a fund that is actually doing good things for the world around you as well. So it's that kind of double-edged thing of making money hopefully um and then also feeling like a good person as well so top 10 holdings i'm just going to talk you briefly through these i actually have some of these shares in my trading 212 account outside of my isa and um, see so some of the companies i'm invested in separately that they have in their top 10 holdings but i'm going to start at number one which is moderna which i hold at the moment as well number two asml three tesla big dog um, four, TSMC, five, Mercado Libre, which I also have, six, Illumina, seven, NIB, or NIBE, which is N-I-B-E, um, eight is M3, nine is Umicor, and 10 is Dexcom. Um, so as I said, I'm invested in some of those shares outside of the Spade Gifford Positive Change, but I thought it's always interesting to have a look at the kind of companies that they have in their top 10 holdings. Um, and those top 10 holdings are bringing in 
of that fund in its entirety. So obviously they also have other companies, but it's bringing in more than 50% um, are in those top 10 companies that I've just listed. Um, so this is a global fund um, across the whole world. Um, so North America makes up 48.8%, Europe makes up 23.5%, emerging markets makes up 21.4%, and then developed Asia Pacific, 3.9%, UK a tiny little bit, 0.7%, and then cash makes up 1.6%. So a really global, diverse portfolio here. As I said, it was launched in January 2017, so it is a fairly new fund. It's one of the newer ones that I am holding. So you've kind of only got the three-year annualised returns to look back on if you're interested in past performance, which I always do have a look at. Obviously, it's not indicative of future performance, but it's important for me to see how they've done historically. And as I said, they've done very, very well historically but you aren't going to be able to have a look at 10 years of annualized performance which i might look at for some of the other funds and investments that i have so looking at its one year performance was 45.8 percent and that is comparing it to the index which is 23.9 percent and that index that they are comparing it to is the index and the msci ACWI index is what it's being compared to. And what they aim to do is after the deduction of costs, they aim to bring in at least 2% more than the index. So you can see from that one year that they have far exceeded that. Um, the three years per annum returns percentage wise are 29.9%. As I said, you won't have annualized returns for 10 years or five years because this is a fairly new fund. So 29.9% over three years annualized um, compared to the index of 11.9%. So again, really, really strong returns there. The last six months, the returns have not been as strong as I've seen previously with this fund. Um, so it'll be interesting to see how the rest of the year goes. So the last six months returns were 4.3% um, compared to an index of 9.2%. So it'll be interesting to see what happens over the next six months um, to see how it does. But overall, really, really strong performance. And for me personally, I feel comfortable investing in a fund um, where you pay fees rather than investing in the index as a whole instead, just because this performance, as far as I can see, is far exceeding there over the 2% that they aim to at the moment. Um, so, as I said, um, there are some fees for investing in this fund. The fees might be different depending on which platform you're using. So I have an ISA with Barclays Smart Investor and I also have an ISA with Fidelity. Um, the fees are around 0.53% ongoing fees. So not very, very high fees, not up towards the 1%. Um, so 0.53%, so quite low on the fees, I would personally say, considering the kind of returns um, that we're seeing here. So as I said, I have held this fund now for a couple of years in my portfolio, which is why I feel comfortable talking to you about it today. Um, I had to sell some of this fund because we were renovating our house and I needed to pay the builders and plumbers and electricians for different things. But I have reinvested some money now into this fund, which just shows that I do um, believe in it. I believe in its key messages and I am pleased with the past performance I had seen when I was invested in it before. Um, so just to tell you exactly how much I have invested in it, um, in my own ISA, I bought £3,000 worth of this investment in May 2021. And then previously, I bought £1,300 worth of it in November 2020. It's now sitting at £4,717 in my own ISA. So it is up 7.95% in my ISA. Um, in quite a short amount of time, obviously. Um, my husband also has it in his ISA. Um, I am very lucky that he is very trusting and lets me make all the kind of investment decisions in our family. Uh, he's not particularly interested in investing. He'll talk to me about it, but he likes to say, what do you think I should be doing in my ISA? So um, I invested, well, he invested in his ISA, but I told him to um, invest £4,000 into uh, Bailey Gifford Positive Change and that went in in April 2021 
and it's up 3.09% since then. So it's now at a value of £4,123 in his ISIS separately. So as total, as a family, we have £8,840 invested into Bailey Gifford Positive Change at the moment. And at the moment, we have no plans to take it out. We have pretty much finished renovating our house. We don't need to um, take the money out, hopefully, for anything in the near future. So we're planning on leaving it there. I might pop a little bit of Bailey Gifford Positive Change into my children's junior ices and then maybe put a little bit into my pension as well, but we shall see. So at the moment, this is where I'm holding um, Baby Gifford Positive Change in an investment ISA because obviously they are nice and tax efficient and you get your £20,000 a year allowance and obviously my husband has his allowance as well. So um, that is what we're currently doing. I hope you found this video really, really interesting. As I said, I love the combination of being able to invest and then also being able to feel like a good person. It's really a lovely combination. Um, so if you'd like to hear more about the other investments that I have in my portfolio and get an idea of how I choose my investments or the different stocks and shares that I have, if you're more interested in that, I also do invest in trusts and ETFs and hold lots of different investments across um, my portfolios. Um, as I said, I'm coming at this from a kind of beginner DIY investor doing it for myself. So I am by no means an expert. I've only really been doing this for three years and then taking it a bit more seriously in the last year. So um, this is not financial advice. This is just me giving you an idea of what we're doing in our family with our finances to hopefully um, make a little bit of money. Um, anyway, thank you so very much for watching. I hope you are all having a lovely, lovely day. And if you fancy subscribing, please do, um, because I'm so close to 500 subscribers. Well, I think I'm about 15 subscribers away. So if you fancy subscribing and getting me to 500, that would be absolutely awesome. I wish you all the best and thanks again for watching. Bye-bye.